Today we're going to uh, do a gear change on a Hewland Mark 8 transmission and we're going to change from uh, Wakefield Park gears through to um, Eastern Creek gears on the long circuit and hopefully we'll do it in a quick time. Now what we'll need is special tools, we'll need a 32mm socket, a set of um, good quality, not like these um, side uh, snips, a nice uh, socket for getting, or a nice key for getting the uh, uh, big plug out, 17mm, don't buy a crappy one, they will just break. A nice little uh, container to house all your uh, nuts and bolts in the correct uh, size. A, uh, a screwdriver for getting out the lace shaft gear. A magnet for picking up the uh, bits and pieces that you'll inevitably drop. And half inch and uh, a 7 16 socket for getting the bits and pieces out. So uh, let's see what we'll, how we'll do that. And we're going to try and also time this to see uh, how long it's uh, going to take. So let's start now. We like to use a, an air tool because I'm uh, inherently lazy and it's usually the quickest way of doing it. And uh, if we can remember where we put our uh, magnet, it will even be uh, evenly better for us. Now, we'll see here that we use a blue Hylomar on uh, all of the uh, bits and pieces to keep it together because then we don't have to replace that afterwards. So we have to undo our two, um, our two split pins here. And uh, this is why we like to use good quality ones. Now, to lock up the uh, gear train, we need to uh, lock this one here, number four, and then followed by number, by reverse, to, uh, to lock those up. And of course the top one is, of course, left-hand thread. So we have to undo that this direction, and the bottom one is right-hand thread which is that way. We don't take the bottom one off entirely. We leave that couple of threads engaged with the top one we take off entirely. Always a good idea now is to re-engage the gears. It makes it easier to uh, put it all together or take it apart. So now we need to undo the bearing carrier and take out the bits. Just got to take this side tank off first. And uh, we just happen to have special spin nuts for those. Now, we also undo our super duper LED light there, and we now also change to a half inch socket to get the other bits and pieces undone. 
Now, we always make sure that this one we always keep separate because it is a, uh, a UNF thread, not a metric thread. And we can all stuff it up by putting it in the wrong side. So take out the hoggy stick. And now we undo the rest of the... Okay, of course we also need to take out the draw shaft in here. And we also like to put on now our special <laughs> put on our special um, holder for and stand to make everything easier. And I'm probably ducking in front of the camera there. So let's see whether all this comes out in one piece. All out in one go. Lovely. I've now put this on here and we're seven minutes in. So things are looking good. We've already laid out the gears, so we'll take off our bottom gear set and we're taking what we're doing, removing fourth gear, spacer, third gear, second gear, and we'll replace those. Second, third. Spacer, new gear, and we'll put those back on in a second. Taking out the gear stack, we'll leave the reverse and first all together, we're not touching those. And here's the rest of them. Here we have second and third, stuck together, third. So we'll replace those, putting, the, putting them up the right way. And there's our dog ring. And good idea, you turn the dog ring around to the other side to even out the wear. And we take out fourth gear as well. Hub. So we put the bearing inside fourth gear and put it back inside the hub. Slide in the dog ring, slide in the boss. fourth gear back in there. We'll drop in our fourth gear on the other side now and slide the rest of our gear train in on top of it. And can we see that okay? Lovely. Sliding in our fourth hub Sliding, then putting in the rest of our second and third gear stack and our 
reverse and first gear stack. And we just do a quick look there to make sure that everything is engaging. So all the gears are, are close together, of course, with the uh, uh, top one missing. And we have a quick look around. We've not missed anything. We drop our little thing back down the hole. And uh, now it's time to uh, slide it all in. We'll put that back on. Slide it in here. And we slide the gear train back onto this little thing here. Now we've forgot the little nut on the end. Let's slot that on. And just moving the wheel a little. Just slot put that in. That's all good. Put that off. Run this nut down entirely. And this is a little trick. Now we've got it in almost to the end. We just give that a little turn and the last bit goes on perfectly. Run our nut on. Of course remember it is left hand thread. Go okay, this the other way. It's in. That one's in. We now have to lock these gears up. Fourth gear is first. Rotate it in, reverse gear second, rotate it in, now we do a lot. How tight we do them? There's some prescribed uh, tensions, but we've made these nuts big enough to do it. So just when they're on the right holes, they're perfectly tight. And how are we going there with time, uh, my good wife, who's photographing this? Can we see what time it says on the uh, timer? Yeah. 13 minutes. 13 minutes, that's not too bad. Now we put our, our lay shaft, our, uh, our little shafty thing in. We run that down till it stops. And then we back it off one turn. If you don't back it off, you'll break it. So we put that in there. Now we're going to lash out and put new new pet new pins in. it always there it goes hit it with a hammer usually makes it easier and we cut the other bits off with our high quality gadget Now, it's a really good idea now to remember to disconnect your gears. Because there's nothing more annoying than finding that it's locked up otherwise. Let's just test them. We've got, we've got a gear, we've got fourth, we've got third. First, second, and we have reverse. All gears work. Let's drop the, the hockey stick, hockey stick back in. And make 
make sure it goes in nicely. And of course we've got a special nut and bolt for that. And the rest is just a reverse of what you saw before. We'll whack those nuts on and Bob's your angle. And our time is uh, 15 minutes 52. Thank you.